Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. All right, guys, we have lots to talk about, lots to discuss, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful week so far. As you guys know, I am, well, here on my <laughs> no camera, no studio. Um, I explained why on an earlier video, but I will be back in my studio later this week, and we will still resume for hot, messy topics and all of the things, but I wanted to get into this Vanderpump Rules drama. So before we jump in, if you guys have not already, then go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, definitely get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we are starting with Sheena Shea. Yeah, thank you to Taste of Reality. Sheena Shea is calling for a modified casting girl power if Vanderpump Rules gets another season. Sheena Shea called for girl power if Vanderpump Rules were to get a 12th season. Pump Rules fans took to social media to slam her after she failed to channel the Spice Girls during, well, season 11 when her close friend Ariana Maddox really needed her. Now. She was interviewed outside of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Sutton Strax fashion show, and Sheena was asked the million-dollar question, where does the show and the friend group go from here? Well, yeah, this looked awkward. I mean, they're saying she looked glum. I'm going to play the video for you guys, but Sheena explained what she'd like to see from the 12th season. If it were to be ordered from the network, I hope we can move forward still doing this show, but I don't see how we can continue it with everyone. Regarding which cast member Sheena would want to return to the show, she said the girls need to come back. We need some girl power. But speaking of girl power, Sheena was asked if she watched Ariana's Vanderpump Rules breakout star host Love Island USA. And while she low-key admitted to not watching, she did see Ariana's looks all over social media. She said, I tuned into all of her outfits. She looked fire absolutely incredible um i'm gonna play the clip for you guys and then i'm gonna tell you or share with you guys how fans are reacting because it is not good thank you to taste of reality here we go hopeful where the group goes from here and where the show goes from here i hope we can move forward still doing this show but i just don't see how we can continue it with everyone what would be your ideal makeup of that like obviously you come back who would you want to bring back with you? Yeah, I mean, the girls need to come back. You know, we need some girl power. I mean, I, I imagine you tuned in all summer long to Ariana and Fiji killing it at Love Island. I tuned into all of her outfits. She <laughs> looked fire. I mean, absolutely incredible. What's your hope of where the group goes from here and where the show goes from? So I saw where some people were thinking that that could have been low-key shade. And honestly, I'm not sure. Bravo TV fans reacted to Sheena wanting to channel the Spice Girls. Okay, they always pick the top five. First, her calling for girl power now is hilarious. You had the opportunity and you blew it, honey. Second, that was supposed to be last season. You and Lala embarrassingly failed that assignment to the point where there probably and hopefully for our sake will not be another season. Jesus. Three, girl what? Ariana and Katie were giving girl power if I ever did see it. Like, what were you guys doing? You have such a huge opportunity to join in, and you didn't. Last two, next season, with laughing emojis, saying pretty much there won't be one. But there will be, I think so, because the ad revenue is so high. And then finally, she desperately wants to be on the Valley. That's why she's crushing Vanderpump Rules, besides the fact it's already over. Now, in case you guys missed it, Tom Sandoval had the audacity to file a lawsuit against Ariana for learning that he was cheating on her after an outpouring of fan backlash. He retracted the lawsuit and blamed it on his attorney for not properly explaining what was happening. Mm. Sheena couldn't wait to chime in on the topic as she felt the world wanted to know her thoughts on the matter. She said, I kept getting messages about the lawsuit and I know you're all waiting for me to weigh in. So here's what I have to say. She admitted that Tom Sandoval made her look like a fucking idiot for thinking he's a good person after Sandoval and his troublesome behaviors afterwards. Mm. Tom Sandoval, what a shit thing to do after a shitty thing you already did. 
what are you thinking? True to form, it didn't take long for her to make it about herself, is what they're saying. No, Tom Sandoval is not someone I want to be friends with. This is not who I align my values with. But Sheena admitted that she made a horrendous judgment in character. She said, call me a fucking idiot, okay? I said it at the finale. Don't make me look like an idiot. Well, you did. So many thoughts. But um, she promised that she had more commentary to come. So if you guys are waiting around to hear what Sheena has to say, well, she's going to let you know. Now, moving on, Rachel Levis. Thank you again to Taste of Reality. She recalled how Stassi Schroeder told her that her bad behavior is rewarded on Vanderpump Rules when she was applying to Waitress at Sir. Once she aged out of the pageant circuit, she figured she'd lean into being a reality TV star. Now, retired beauty pageant contestant Rachel began, if I'm competing in a pageant, I need to present myself in a very particular, put-together way because I didn't have those limitations on myself anymore. I didn't care anymore. I was like, why am I monitoring myself if I have no reason to monitor myself anymore? I'm not going to be a title holder, so might as well give the show my all. Might as well commit to having fun and living it up. Hmm. She said, I remember back when I filmed the scene where I sat down with Lisa Vanderpump and asked for a job working at Sur, and I was sitting next to Stassi Schroeder, and she told me basically the name of the game with Vanderpump Rules is the worse you behave, the more you get rewarded. That always kind of stuck with me in the back of my mind, but I never acted on it because I had plans on being a title holder and on being a positive role model. I would say I learned more about myself in pageants before season 10 of Vanderpump Rules than I learned the most about myself through that experience. Hold on. I'm going to play the clip. Then we're going to talk about it. Here we go. This shit. Like, you can't write this shit. You can't write this shit. Here we go. I'm competing for a pageant. I need to present myself in a very particular put together way. And because I didn't have those limitations on myself anymore, you know, like I didn't care anymore. I was like, well, why am I monitoring myself? I have no reason to monitor myself anymore. I'm not going to be a title holder. So might as well give the show my all and might as well commit to like having fun and living it up. I remember back when I filmed the scene where I sat down with Lisa and asked for a job working at Sir, And I was sitting next to Stassi Schroeder and she told me like, Basically, the name of the game with Vanderpump Rules is the worse you behave, the more you get rewarded. And that always stuck with me in the back of my mind, but I never acted on it because I had plans on being a title holder and on being a positive role model. Do you think you learned more about yourself through pageants or reality TV? I would say that I learned more about myself through pageants before season 10 of Vanderpump Rules. And then I learned the most about myself through that experience. If I'm competing for a pageant, I need to present myself in a very particular put together way. And because I didn't have those limitations on myself anymore, you know, like I didn't care anymore. I was like, well, why am I monitoring myself? I have no reason to monitor myself anymore. I'm not going to be a title holder. So might as well give the show. Mm, mm, okay. Well, just to kind of piggyback off of what she's saying, um, Bravo TV fans did react and said, one, so is she going to sue Stassi for influencing a grown-ass woman? Two, so it was pageants that made her act like a nice person. Then once she was out of them, it was Stassi saying one sentence to her that made her go wild. Three, I'm no Stassi fan, but this is crazy. Rocky, boom, boom, done, lost it. Next one, is Rachel saying it's Stassi's fault? Sure, Jan. You certainly didn't learn a lot from being around Sandoval. You learned to never take responsibility for anything and blame others. You should get your money back from your wellness center. Last two, she has nothing else to say. Use Stasi's name to get back in the headlines. And finally, how do you not know how bad behavior is rewarded on reality TV? How? They said, how dumb and stupid is she? Oh, my God. Guys, I'm going to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comment section, please. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see these comments. Love you guys.